Senator Alan Peter Cayetano lashed out at Senator Leila de Lima for using the upper chamber in her bid to destroy the image of President Rodrigo Duterte. Cayetano stressed that Senator de Lima, in her desire to destroy the president, is also destroying the integrity and reputation of the Senate. Cayetano made the statement in a privileged speech this afternoon. Marita Muahe has the details. With a vote of 16 yes, 4 no, and 2 abstain, Senate Committee on Justice and Human Rights Chairwoman Laila de Lima was ousted from the committee. In his privileged speech at the Senate session this afternoon, Senator Alan Peter Cayetano made vocal his observations on the Senate investigations on extrajudicial killings and summary executions. Ano po gusto natin? What do we want? Bumalik tayo six years past? Ipagpatuloy or ipagpatuloy natin pagbabago? Do we go back or do we go forward? More of the same or change? Gusto ba natin na takot ang tao at ang kriminal hindi takot? Would we rather that people are afraid and the criminals are not afraid? Or do we want criminals to be afraid of the law and people clinging to the law, respecting the law, feeling safe? It will be recalled that Senator Antonio Trillanes and Cayetano had a heated argument during the public hearing, which started when the latter questioned the witness Edgar Matubato, a self-confessed killer and claims to be a former member of the Davao Death Squad, formed by then Mayor and now President Duterte. Cayetano claims that more than that of the president, the country's image is being tainted because of wrong information that it is the president who orders killings. Also affected are the overseas Filipino workers, as are being communicated to the international media. But putting a witness against the president makes it seem that the whole country is for extrajudicial killing. Pag binasa niyo po yung mga article, it says he's immensely popular with 92%, so they let him do it, etc., etc., something like that. So they're giving the impression that we are not a civilized people, that we are not a modern people with values, with, with strong moral values, and just because our president is popular, and just because we're fed up with drug lords, we'll just kill them all. Trilliane sent Cayetano a letter apologizing for his demeanor at the last Thursday's hearing. He also promised this won't happen again. In the middle of Cayetano's speech, Senator De Lima walked out. She later explained that she left as a form of protest to the direct assault towards her. After the speech, Senator Manny Pacquiao moved a motion to declare the Senate Committee on Justice and Human Rights vacant. That the chairmanship and members of the Committee on Justice be declared vacant. That is the motion. A caucus was called and after an hour, majority of the senators agreed with the motion and chose Senator Richard Gordon to chair the committee with Senator Panfilo Lacson as vice chairman. Now that the numbers of the minority have been uh, reduced to one member, may we have uh, 24 hours until we nominate a member of the minority. In the meantime, uh, may we, uh, yes. after my motion is pressed. Yes, the majority leader. There is a motion now to... Constitute the Justice Committee with Senator Gordon as the chairman and the other members named as either vice chairman or members thereof. Any objection? Hearing none, the motion is approved and the Justice Committee is so constituted. I will accept the challenge with the help of the members of the committee and I thank them for their vote of confidence, but I do expect that they will also participate in all the hearings with fairness, with economy, and with the highest interest of the country at heart. Meanwhile, it will be the turn tomorrow of the House of Representatives to conduct its own investigation into illegal drug activities with their focus on the flourish of illegal drugs in the new beloved prisons under the term of then Justice Secretary, now Senator Leila de Lima. The inquiry will start at about 9 in the morning. Resource persons include high-profile inmates who, will, who have agreed to tell all about the irregularities at the NBP. According to Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre, some 30 inmates led by convicted drug dealers Herbert Colanco, kidnapper Noel Martinez, will testify during the inquiry. More details of this report from Sweden, Velado. 
In last week's Senate inquiry on extrajudicial killings, the nation was surprised when Senator Leila de Lima presented her witness, Edgar Matobato, who claimed to be an assassin and member of the Davao Death Squad. He said he has killed many individuals upon instructions of then Davao City Mayor and now President Rodrigo Duterte. Tomorrow at 9.30 a.m., the House of Representatives is set to conduct a hearing on proliferation of illegal drugs and items in the National Penitentiary where Senator De Lima is allegedly involved. 30 witnesses from the camp of the Department of Justice will appear in the hearing. Among them are high-profile inmates and drug lords Herbert Colanco and Noel Martinez. Two high officials from the National Bureau of Investigation will testify on how then-Justice Secretary De Lima allegedly received drug money amounting to 5 million pesos at her residence in Paranaque. Her alleged driver lover Ronnie Dayan witnessed it, but DOJ said they could not locate Dayan now. Other witnesses will also narrate how they raised 16 million pesos to support the senatorial campaign of De Lima and this was led by another drug convict named J.B. Sebastian. Pero may mga visit doon na derecho si De Lima doon sa tubol ni J.B. Sebastian and uh, they, uh, their, the visit would last mga uh, three or four hours. The DOJ said they will only present witnesses who are willing to be examined and testify before the Congress. They are also not paid or promised anything. Their wives and relatives voluntarily went to the office of Aguirre in DOJ to inform him that the inmates are willing to speak the truth and support the current administration's war on drugs. The Bureau of Corrections transferred the said witnesses to the Intelligence Service Unit of the Armed Forces of the Philippines for their safety. Meanwhile, Senator De Lima stated that with or without an invitation, she will not attend the hearing. She will not even send any representative, lawyer or observer because she will not recognize the hearing at all. Aguirre quickly responded. He said De Lima's absence will not affect the House hearing and added if she truly believes that the allegations are false and maintains her innocence, she could confidently show up tomorrow. Meanwhile, House leaders assured that the scheduled inquiry on the NBP drug proliferation will remain impartial and in aid of legislation. They say the probe's focus is not Senator De Lima. More details from Jervis Manahan. The House of Representatives is scheduled to start its probe on the proliferation of drugs in the National Penitentiary tomorrow. The leadership of the supermajority of the House says that this will not be a scripted hearing. Furthermore, they said that the House Committee on Justice, the one tasked to spearhead the probe, will be impartial in the conduct of the investigation. The Injurious Drugs Committee Chairman Congressman Ace Barber said that the testimonies tomorrow will all be explosive. Palagay ko, hindi lang mayayanig. Also, Deputy Speakers Eric Abweg and Ferdinand Hernandez say that this investigation is not geared towards persecuting anyone, especially Senator Laila de Lima. Reporters then asked Barbers, how can the public expect partiality from the probe if its title limits the investigation to the period when de Lima was still serving as Justice Secretary? Barbers retorts that illegal drugs proliferated under de Lima's helm. But if the probe unveils drug activities even prior to her term, they might have to increase the scope of the investigation. Yun nga ang uh, problema eh. No? Uh, kapag siyang nagpatawag ng hearing, aba, eh, kung sino-sinong witnesses yung eh, ipinipresent dun sa Senado, in fact, nawawala na dun sa topic uh, nung kanilang uh, resolusyon na kung saan eh, ang iniimbestiga nila yung extrajudicial killings sa buong bansa. No? Hindi lang pertaining to one person or to a group of people. Hindi ganun. Eh. Uh, so makakaasa kayo dito sa Kongreso. Eh, yung amen ay in aid of legislation. Congressman Ray O'Malley, the chairman of the Justice Committee, will lead tomorrow's big day. He admits that he's De Lima's former party mate in the Liberal Party and that De Lima is his sis in their fraternity and sorority. However, he says that the Committee on Rules and even Speaker Alvarez are all aware about this and that this does not merit any conflict of interest. Siguro gusto rin maipakita ni Speaker na this is not about her. This is about the issue on drug uh, or pro proliferation of drug syndicates in the new believed uh, prison. Ano? 
He also reaffirmed that the probe will be done in aid of legislation. Among the invited personalities are Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre, PAO Chief Presida Acosta, and PNP Chief Ronald De La Rosa. The investigation will last for two days or even more, especially because they can't accommodate all 30 witnesses tomorrow.